Right, so I was asked to do a video on some applications for chicken sickle savers because uh, they're a really weird, they're a really weird sword and very rare. They're in our Lipshi Lilha system and they're based off of, as the name implies, chicken talons. So these are meant to be the talons of the chicken. So first to examine the swords itself, they're twin swords so you're using two of them. And the shape of it, if you've ever seen like a picture of the real stuff, it's basically a jan handle, a jan blade all the way up, and then it has a hook at the end, and then a notch here. So it's, a lot of its movements has a lot to do with jan type work. So think jan, but with hooks and notches. So why the hooks and notches? Well, there's a principle in a lot of different systems, and in our long fist system we call it, when the punch goes out, it's like a cannon. When it returns, it's like an eagle's talons, or an eagle's claw. This is referring to anything that goes out must come back. So you hook whatever you happen to get, whether it be a wrist or the weapon itself. You always want to think about the backwards. Because whenever you're like usually doing a lot of sword work, you think, okay, I gotta go out, I gotta strike, boom, boom. You get into this like Hollywood style Robin Hood fencing type of thing. But you wanna think about like whatever goes out. There's got to be something that comes back, right? So here, I trapped his uh, blade here, so if we go closer to the camera here. I hook here, I can direct it this way, and now I'm ready, ready to get the wrist and the fingers here. And then I can catch to the ribs or to the neck, anywhere like so. So that's what a lot of the hook has to be here for. The notch itself, has anything to do with like the back. So if I block this here, you can see here, my blade directs, I can hook this notch and then catch his arm and then rig his uh, tricep here. One of the applications that we have, there's a hook downwards and then a hook upwards. So this is kind of like a direct this down and then catch him with the notch and the end to hook up. So that's where the notches come into play. So whatever, you have it to get, you catch with the notch and pull it backwards. Now if you want to grab the staff, right? Another good way to use the hooks, can you even see me? So another good way to use the hooks, if you have like a spearman or a bowman, right? They come at you. This is like a common block with like a lot of a two, two sword type of approaches. This is where the fun comes in. Once you get to like this kind of notch here, he can't as easily get this spear to where he wants it to be. And then you slide these up to his hands. He starts serrating his hands up like that. So to go slow, let's say he goes for like my legs, right? So here, I block here, I catch, and I start moving these up. And you can see I can start to catch towards his hand. That's the big thing. A lot of weapons are looking to get to the hands first, because you want to disarm them. Because once they're disarmed, right, as soon as I get that hand and that lets go, right, then I can just do whatever I want with the rest of them, because it's disarmed at that point. So, catch, hook the leg, catch his leg, whatever I happen to get. That's the big thing about these weapons, is it's whatever goes out must come back. Catch the hand, catch the neck, catch the leg, whatever happens to be. Just say out, and then hook back. Whatever you get. So that's the chicken sickle savers.